Hey everybody, it's Mama J, and I bought some more vinyl. Not Funko, but record albums. Stick around and see what I got. Alright guys, I'm back with part two. You've seen that massive box. As I told you guys, I broke this video down into four parts because I did not want a long video with all of these albums. So now I'm going to go over the second group of albums that I want to show you. But don't forget, watch all four videos, because on video four, you're going to see why I started buying this lot, and you're going to see a gift that the auctioneer sent me. And I did buy this from Virtual Auctioneer on Whatnot, okay? So make sure you go give him a follow. Anyways, um, let's start with the first album I got. It was George Thorogood and the Destroyers. Pretty cool, you can see the album, right? You can see how it was the back and let's see did did we score it no oh, just plain paper oh well it does have a little design but no lyrics sadly there is a little letter on the back here and it says from john forward number one fan it actually is printed on the back of the albums it was one of the first albums so pretty cool to get to add this to my collection never seen him in concert sadly and yeah, Funko should give us a George Thorogood pop. You know, just make it bad to the bone. No, 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 no. Anyways, um, I also added this one, Steppenwolf Live. This is specially priced to two record set. <laughs> so it was specially priced. Um, also, by the way, I got the George Thorogood album for five bucks. This one right here, Steppenwolf, I got for a whole three dollars. Okay, so that was the the cool price, right? There's the back. Pretty cool. And inside it is two albums. Okay, there's one. And there's the other one inside there. Okay. Um, they should probably both have paper, but there's only paper for one. And no lyrics. But still really cool. Like I said, I paid three bucks for it. I liked the cover. I thought this was really so pretty cool to add that one. Um, again, somebody I've never seen in concert. As for Pops, uh, you know, I don't see Funko ever making Pops for them. Now, the next one I bought as a two-lot set. Actually, let me show you this other one first. Here we go. Um, this one I actually got for two bucks, and it is Jethro Tull. It's pretty cool artwork on the cover there. I like that. It is uh, one that opens up, so pretty nice artwork inside. That is the back. Now it is only one album. Um, oh, wait, what, what, what? And there is a little, okay, hold on a second here. Okay, in this one, we have this, which is what the album itself is in. Okay, so let me slide that back in there because what I noticed is this is completely different. Um, and here we have the lyrics and this is pretty cool to still have this inside the album right this is something that most people would have pulled out lost whatever this right here for two bucks this right here was worth <laughs> worth more than the two bucks but pretty cool pretty cool to add that um, I'm happy to find that out I didn't even know that when I bought it I just there were a lot of albums that I said if I could get for two or three dollars, I'll let them add it. If they go too much higher and I don't want to pay it, I wasn't going to. Uh, the next one was a two lot set. It cost me eight dollars, but I did get two albums. The first one I got was this one, which is the Moody Blues. Okay, and this one is on the threshold of dreams. So that's the front. This is the back. It does have some wear. You see right there. This is actually coming apart. So it looks like at some point maybe somebody bent it or maybe the way it was pressed because it's almost a perfect line. Um, so that could be why. And inside it is just a plain white sheet. No lyrics. Sadly, but still a really cool album to add. Again, I paid $8 for two, so I'm considering it like a $4 album. Uh, the other one I got was also the Moody Blues, Days of Future Past. Really love this cover. 
kind of like the craziness of it. Here's the back. And on the back we have, um, in the days of future past, the Moody Blues have at last done what many others have dreamed of and talked about. They have extended the range of pop music and found the point where it becomes one with the world of the classics. Here with emotion and creativity blend were poetry, the beat group, and the sympathy, sympathy, symph sympathy, symphony and the symphony orchestra feed on each other's inspiration. So this is pretty cool. So I'm happy to add this one. As for the Moody Blues, no, I've never seen them in concert. Again, not somebody I see Funko ever making pop stuff. Maybe an album, maybe a pop album, but I don't see them making like Moody Blues pops, okay? Uh, but either way, so that's five more that I picked up in that one lot. There were four in the first, so we're at nine from that one seller. So tell me which ones of these did you like? Do you listen to any of these bands? Um, have you seen any of them in concert? Which cover was your favorite? There was this one. There was that one. This one, which was pretty cool. For some reason, when I look at this cover, I don't know why. And when you look at it, it's not when you really look in detail, but just a glance, it makes me think of Kurt Cobain. Um, this cover, which is one of my favorites, and then this cover. All right, don't forget guys, hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of this video, what you thought of these albums, which, do you collect albums? Do you have any cool ones, any suggestions? Something you think I might think is cool? I don't know. Can you blow my mind? <laughs> Anyways, guys, stick around. Check out my Patreons. There's a link down below if you're interested. Again, they get something every single month. Also, don't forget, hit the notification bell so the next time I drop a video, you don't miss it. All right? Bye, guys.